Hey guys, this is Dr. Glitch and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to dramatically lower your ping, increase your connection speed without any packet loss and enjoy a lag free and smooth gaming experience on your PC. I'm literally going to be showing you guys the before and after results from the methods that we're going to be using in this video and I'm going to be doing everything right in front of you guys to give you guys a clear understanding of how big of a difference these changes are going to make to improve your gaming experience overall. So some of the things that we're going to do is prioritize the app or device that you're playing the game on so that you don't lose any kind of packets or data while playing the game which might cause lag and I'm also going to be showing you guys the best DNS server that you could use to get incredible download speeds with the exact same internet connection and a few more tweaks for optimum efficiency now this method is pretty much gonna work for any online game that you've got Fortnite Valorant Dota 2 PUBG you name it guys also if you guys are wondering as to how I got to know about all this stuff just to let you guys know in order to understand how games and gaming softwares work you gotta learn and look at them from a developer's perspective and this is why I use Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills, invest in themselves and their personal growth. Skillshare has literally got thousands of classes on game development and softwares like Unity, Java, Unreal Engine, etc. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that a game like Fortnite has also been designed and developed on Unreal Engine. So if you guys want to dive deep into how such complex games are designed, Skillshare has got you covered. Now of course, you don't have to worry even if you have absolutely zero knowledge in game development. I took a class by Greg Wandra who is an actual authorized instructor on intro to game design and me being an absolute newbie was still able to understand and comprehend everything that was taught in the class. The class covers basic topics like how to download and install Unreal Engine to complex ones like game geometry, player metrics and stuff like that. And right now guys, since Skillshare is the sponsor for today's video, the first 1000 people to sign up with the link given in the description box or use the code Dr. Glitch will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So go ahead and try it out right now. Alright guys, so coming back to the topic of today's video, like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys the before and after results and we're going to be taking the example of Fortnite, but again, like I said, you can pretty much do this with any other game and it's going to work just the same. Alright guys, so let's go on to settings and check the ping that we have right now so that we could compare to the ping that we're going to get later on in the video after we've applied all the changes. So as you guys can see, I'm getting around 120 ping uh, on EU servers and it's also set to auto which means that this is the best ping that I could get using the internet connection that I have right now. So let's just go ahead and start making the changes in order to see the difference. Alright guys, so once you're on your PC, the first thing that you're going to be doing is go onto the search bar at the bottom and just type in CMD which is going to open up the command prompt and you're going to be typing in IP config slash flush DNS. Now what this is basically going to do is it's going to flush out all the accumulated DNS that's been loading up over time. And it's also going to help the new DNS server that you're going to be setting up to run efficiently. Now once this is done, the next thing that you want to do is go onto control panel and then head over to network and sharing center and then go on to change adapter settings and then right click on your active internet connection and then go on to properties. And then once you're on this screen guys, you want to head over to configure and then go on to advanced. Now once you're on this screen guys, you're going to see a bunch of different options that you're going to be tweaking. For example, right when you click on energy efficient ethernet, you're going to see that it's enabled. At least for most of you guys, it's going to be enabled for, because that's the default setting. And what this option basically does is it restricts the amount of data that is sent to your connection through Ethernet, which means when you disable it, you're going to have a free flowing connection that's totally unrestricted. Now, once this is done, there's a couple more settings that you're going to have to change. So just scroll down below and go on to green Ethernet. It's kind of like the same. So you're going to have to disable this as well. Scroll down again and head over to power saving mode. Again, you're gonna have to disable this as well if it's enabled. If it's disabled already, you're, you're not gonna have to do anything, obviously. And then go on to priority and LAN. And as you guys can see, this is disabled as well. So we're gonna go ahead and enable priority and LAN. So these were all of the settings that you're gonna have to change on this screen. 
Now once this is done, the next thing that you're gonna be doing is again, go onto your active internet connection and go onto properties. Now on this screen, what you wanna do is you're gonna head over to internet protocol version four and then hit properties. Now on this screen, you're gonna get an option to change the DNS. As you guys can see, you can obtain uh, this DNS server automatically or you can use a manual DNS so we're gonna be uh, using the second option which is use the following DNS server address so you're gonna be typing in the manual DNS which is 8.8.8.8 .8 and the secondary DNS is 8.8.4.4 .4. once this is typed in just check the box right here that says validate settings upon exit and then hit OK now once this is done the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be prioritizing our device as primary so again what you're gonna have to do is go onto internet protocol version 4 once again and then hit properties and then once you're on this screen you're gonna have to go on to advanced and you're gonna see a small checkbox uh, at the bottom which says automatic metrics so you're gonna have to uncheck this box right here and then right below it you're gonna see another box pop up so you can have to type in any number that is below 10 uh, because any number that's above 10 is going to be used for general connections which means that your device is not going to be able to prioritize uh, over others so my sweet spot is 7 so I'm going to be typing in 7 if you feel like your connection isn't getting better just keep going at a lower number so once this is done hit OK and then hit OK once again validate uh, settings upon exit make sure you do this and then go all the way back your system is going to run a small test to see if there's any problems so just wait for a few seconds and once this is done go back and we're going to go back to the desktop and now we're going to start fortnite to see if there's any improvements so let's just launch fortnite all right now after skipping the loading and everything let's just get straight to the point all right guys so as you guys can see i'm literally on 36 milliseconds of ping which is incredible considering that we were getting around 120 ping at the start of this video and uh, if you guys can see i'm also on middle east servers and not on europe uh, which is kind of weird because i was getting 120 on europe and 136 on middle east so we're on we're down to 36 on middle east which is a massive massive difference so this is the kind of improvements that you guys can expect after following all of the methods that I've shown in this video and as you guys can see your ping is going really low it's less than 20 actually which is amazing considering that we haven't moved closer to the location of the server and we're still able to get uh, a massive improvement on our ping so if you guys find this video helpful please don't forget to leave a like to this video and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel that was all for today's video guys thanks a lot for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next one